Hey, Scott, just uh, what held the offense back tonight? What held the offense back tonight? We didn't make shots. We were five for 25. We had 48 attempts at the rim. Didn't get to the free throw line. Didn't make enough layups. Fred. Scott, first time Issues played in a while, first time Davis has played in a while. What did you think of those guys? Well, I think Ish was rusty. There's no question. We haven't, we were manufacturing practice conditions without NBA players. It's hard to do. Uh, we did the best we can, but it was rusty. It's just good to get them out there. Get that first game out. Same, same with the DB. He had, I thought he had some good looks that he made and some good looks that he missed, but it was good to get him back on the floor. Um, hopefully we can get some other guys um, back to playing soon on this road trip, but it's good to get them back. Uh, Ish is going to be much better than we played tonight. That's just, I mean, it's the first, he hasn't played in two months. It's always tough to, to come back, but that's the first game is behind them. But he's gonna he's gonna play much better going forward. Neil. Scott, it looked like Rui was going through his pregame routine. Can you tell us when the shoulder tightness occurred and if you expect him to play uh, next game? I'm not sure. Um, I know it was sore um, last game, but I didn't think it was enough to to keep him out. But they decided that it was before the game. I wasn't. I wasn't anticipating that. Um, but we're always about the athletes. It's um, don't know how long he's going to be out. I don't know. You know, I have. I have no idea how long he's going to be out. I don't know if it's a game. I don't know if it's five games. Shy. Uh, coach, um, granted you lost by 22 points tonight, but um, as, the, uh, as you said, uh, you, you put him on Luca. What do you think of his performance against Luca defensively? Because it seemed that Luca had his way with the rest of the team and against Avia, he struggled. Yeah, I mean, Luca's, Luca's a good player. He plays at his own pace. I thought, I thought Danny did a good job of competing against them. Um, you know, he still had, so he had a solid game. They beat us. It's about, it's not about individual matchups. They beat us. They beat us by 22 points. We didn't make any threes. We couldn't get to the free throw line. We couldn't make any points, uh, any buckets around the rim. I uh, mean, we all had a lot of open threes. Christos. Hello, coach. Hope you're doing well. What was going to be the biggest challenge for the game against the Raptors uh, for the, your next game? And what would you like to improve as a team? Well, we're going to have to be able to generate more points than 40 in the second half. We start the game with 19, and we finish the game with two, 220 pieces in the second half. We got to be better than that. We got to be able to uh, generate some more points. It's hard to. It's hard, you know, nowadays it's hard to give up, you know, opportunities where you get good looks and don't make them. And we were five for 25 from three. Those, those, are, those are hard to overcome. I thought, I mean, I know we lost by 22, but I thought it was, you know, I thought it was a little bit closer than that. I thought we could have made a, a three here and there, a timely three. They made a couple of threes at the end to go from whatever, 14 to, to 20, two possessions down the court. Um, we got we to gotta, we gotta make some shots. I mean, it's, it's no question. We look back every game, we're missing, we're missing some wide open looks. I know we got a lot of good offensive players out of the, off the floor. And like I said, hopefully they're back soon. Hopefully Rui's back next game. Hopefully Brad's back next game. I don't know if, when they will be back, but let's hope that that helps. That opens up a lot of things. 
Um, and it takes a, it takes some of the, the 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 pressure off of Russell to making a play every time down the court because they're they're packing the lane. Let's face it, they got three guys in, in the paint. If we can get some generate some some threes and some opportunities in transition, we give ourselves a better chance. How was it uh, going back out there for the first time in almost two months? First of all, let me say this: so good to see y'all, man. I've been sitting there freaking on the bench, not talking to nobody. Uh, it felt good. It felt good, but um, still a little frustrated. I understand it's all about rhythm and getting the flow and all those things, but I don't really want to hear that. Uh, we're trying to win games, and so uh, I have to uh, keep up and catch up as fast as I can, and uh, so hopefully the next game will be better. Ava? Hey, Ish, it is nice to see you back. Glad you're healthy. Um, can you give us a kind of a timeline on when you were able to start working out, how many kind of practice type things you got under your belt before you were playing tonight? Yeah, so this is the first 505. Uh, <laughs> everything else is like three on three, one on one, a lot of defensive slides, a lot of running and different things like that. Uh, and you can't simulate playing out on the floor uh, against uh, the best athletes. Uh, but um, still, should have been better. Defensively, got up, gave up some plays, uh, and I thought this year, thus far, I've been really good defensively. I, I was poor on that side, and then offensively, it's just you know you just find your rhythm. Uh, the mid range shot is something that you guys have saw last year and this year that, that I, I shoot a lot and shoot uh, pretty well, so I have to get back in the rhythm of that and um, being ready to shoot. Just a lot of different things that that uh, you know I wasn't happy about. Um, you know, my play, but, uh, you know, just like anything, people always say, like, it's a rhythm, it's a flow. I get it, but you don't want to really hear it. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's most of the stuff I've been doing, like one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of working out individually, but, uh, other than that, uh, it's first five on five. <laughs> and Ish, what have you, um, kind of seen from this offense as you've been observing from the bench. Um, Scott tonight said there were open looks and you guys are just kind of missing shots. What are you observing from your point of view? Well, I think Russ um, attracts a lot of attention. And so, like you said, we got a lot of shots tonight that we should have knocked down uh, and we will knock down, um, but we got to play obviously more of a pace. Um, and, and we got to be, be better on that end, you know, cause you know, last year was funny. Offense is what we did well. In defense, we couldn't we couldn't guard a soul if they were standing in a phone booth. Uh, so it, it's something that uh, that that him and Brad attract so much attention that, that we have to be ready to knock down those shots. And it's a miss and make league. You know, Dallas made their shots tonight, and, and we missed out. Neil. Hey, Ash, good to see you. Uh, you've still been around the team. Um, how would you assess your guys' morale after, you know, not having the start that you guys wanted to after All-Star break? Yeah, we, we got to get, get our, our swagger back, our confidence back, especially the kind of swagger and confidence that we had in those eight games, that eight-game winning streak. Um, even if you're just kind of building each other up, encouraging each other, talking a little trash to the other team, whatever the case is, we, we got to get that swagger back. Um, because as bad as it looks right now, we still got a great, great chance to get in. And when I say get in, I mean like um, with 20, I, I think, what is it, 24 and 23 or 24 and 22 or something, 500 right now was, is like a four seed. So we got to figure it out. We got to figure it out fast. And, um, and we will. We, we, we will. We will. Um, but we just got to get our confidence back, our swagger back. Uh, if it's going in the gym, getting up shots, wh whatever the case is, we got we to gotta get it back, that confidence, because, you know, this road trip isn't going to be easy. We're playing some really, really good teams. Toronto's ahead of us. Uh, Orlando, uh, they got guys and they're playing hard. I, you know, I was in Philly when we was trusting the process. And so Orlando, they got guys who got the opportunity. They're going to play hard. They're going to give you everything they got. Um, and then you got Utah, number one over there in the West. Phoenix, number two. Uh, go to state battling for a playoff position. So, um, and I know I'm missing somebody, but it, it's not going to be easy. And so we have to put our hard hats on and uh, be ready to roll and, and play with some confidence. Christos? 
Hello, Ish. Welcome back, first of all. What was the, tough, the toughest part for you about the, your rehabilitation so far? The, the toughest part about me not having my legs have been out. I think, I think Christos went off. I think he's uh, frozen. Huh? Let's go to Fred and see if we can Christos, come. Christos, you back? If you're back, okay. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry about that. Okay. First of all, welcome back. Appreciate it. I would it. like to ask you, what was the toughest part for you about your rehabilitation so far? And uh, from your perspective, what this team needs to improve to be back on the winning road? Uh, what it was like been, uh, getting my legs back and been out so long, it was kind of frustrating, uh, you know, because you want to be in battle with the guys um, and you want to be out there with the guys. Uh, but just being around them, their morale and all those different things was great. But uh, it, was, it was difficult. It was tough. Uh, but, you know, timing is everything. And uh, your timing is, isn't always, you know, in your mind what you want and your body's telling you something different. Uh, but. Uh, what we need to do is, I think more than anything, is just get our confidence back. Uh, when we're open, knocking down our shots, defensively playing with this kind of, kind of toughness, uh, we just gotta, we gotta get, get whatever the case is, in the gym, you know, watching film, whatever the case is. So when we hit the floor, we can play with this level of confidence that that uh, that internally we feel like we're the better team. And last question to Fred. Hey, Ish, how you been, man? Ah, uh, dang, man. Do I have somebody else to talk to? <laughs> so, Un unfortunately, I think you might have to answer this one. <laughs> um, I'm just curious. I, I know this is a weird question to ask after a loss, but we haven't spoken to you in a little while. Um, I'm, I, you've watched kind of this Rui hot streak up until tonight, obviously, where he was averaging 20 over like 11 games. Yeah. I'm just wondering what you've seen from him during this game if you think it's been legitimate development and if so what you've seen uh I think the development uh but I think confidence like I you know I know that's like the theme of what I keep saying but uh he just looked confident uh and obviously he shoots that mid-range shot he picks with me all the time he's like Ish, I got a better mid-range shot than you and we go back and forth but that's really his shot and he shoots it with confidence and he's been shooting it with confidence he's just playing with this confidence um uh, that uh, him, Russ, and Brad, and uh, that, that they all kind of play with and and on the offensive end. And so, and you can see how we're playing with that same confidence. So if we can kind of, they can breathe that confidence in all of us, uh, then, then we're going to get on a roll and, and make the playoffs that we want to. But he just looked very confident. He looks very confident. And I'm happy for him, and I want him to keep playing at that level. Um, how did you feel out there playing for the first time in a little while? Oh, felt pretty good. Uh, I think I had enough time to get ready for the game, come back. Uh, overall, definitely felt good, felt fresh. Yeah, what have these last few days been like for you as you've tried to uh, get ready to return? Oh, uh, practice. It was practice. It was a uh, kind of waiting room, get on the court as much as possible. Uh, uh, got a little bit of live action. On Tuesday, it's some three on three. Then uh, yesterday, a little bit of five on five. And, uh, you know, it was, it was good to, to do that, to get in some kind of a rhythm and, uh, and be ready for the game. Christos. Hello, Davis. How are you? Good, thanks. Great. I would like to ask you, from your perspective, what would you like to improve as a team to the game against the Raptors? Uh, I think right now, you know, the game tonight, uh, I don't think we did uh, bad on defense. You know, we didn't let them score that much. I think they're a team that usually scores a lot more points. Uh, more of an issue tonight was uh, scoring ourselves. You know, if we score 80-something points, it's really tough to win a basketball game. And, uh, you know, we, some shots didn't fall. I don't know, like, I, I feel like uh, we just we just need to work as a group, you know, give each other some confidence. You know, you can see that some guys sometimes are uh, hesitating to shoot when they got a good look and because uh, they maybe missed one or two or, or have had a bad stretch. And, you know, just shoot when you got a good look. And uh, then if you don't take the shot, then sometimes you drive in, you kick it out, and we end up shooting like a bad contested shot at the end of the shot clock. So, so th there's some like uh, we need some confidence going there, and uh, and that, sh that should fix it. 